Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Lifetime Travel Mates. My name is Hegyeong and behind the camera is Jordi and together we are the Lifetime Travel Mates. And today we are going snorkeling. I'm going to show you guys how actually close it is uh, to the beach. So we're, there will be no cars, no anything. Hello, how is it going? So this is the place where we're staying here in Hikaduga. And as you can see, we are we are fully prepared to go snorkeling. We just carry our snorkels, swimming suit, nothing else, contact lens, of course. And this is all we need to <laughs> cross the railway, cross the main road, and reach the beach, right? Uh, yesterday it rained a lot, so our snorkeling plan has screwed up. But today the weather looks incredibly beautiful and sunny. So we're hoping that it doesn't rain in the middle. I mean, even though it rains, we're wet, it's fine. Already. We are yeah. in the water anyway. So but as long as it doesn't get fine. too windy and the sea doesn't get too rough, we are good. Yeah. Okay. So this is the way that we take daily uh, to the beach, which is like literally this video should be four or five minutes probably. If there's no train stopping us, there is a bit loud down here. Okay, let's go. So this is one of the first obstacles that we have. It's too much loud here, so first obstacle, railway. Second one, main road. Yeah. But it's really really close. It's very very close. Yeah. I mean, you, you guys will see it, how close it is. And I have a question. If you were this close to the sea, how many days would you stay here knowing that you can go snorkeling daily? Because actually you can do this daily, it would be easy. Uh, so I wonder how long would you stay here? Alright, we're gonna cross the street. Okay, once we pass the second obstacle, the main road, we are on the way to the beach. You can see this. Yeah, we are already on the beach! How crazy is this? How many seconds or how many minutes? So, one thing we do is just take our sandals, our slippers, these ones, and we just drop them somewhere on the beach. Someone could steal them, yes, but I think it's fine. I mean, it's not fine to steal them, it's fine to lose them because they, we bought them very cheap. It's fine. Oh my god, there's a lot of people today. There's a lot of people today in the beach. Look at this. Yeah, normally we come here... Nothing. Normally we come here earlier, like 9 or 10 a.m. But our work, we had work in the morning, so we came a bit later than the usual time. So we see a lot of people, but I don't know holiday or something? Today is Sunday, yeah. It's a kind of a holiday, actually. Okay, we're gonna drop our sandals there. Yeah. And run, 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 run. So here we are, ready for snorkeling. Let's go.
No, Spain. Spain. Yeah. Are you from here? Good, yeah, good. Picadu? Yeah. From Picadu? Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. 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 Good You have to be very loud. I already got in. You can go ahead. No, I need to wear these too. Yeah? So, yeah, we're gonna wear these and go inside. It's a bit complicated. Shoot. Hold this. Someone is having trouble wearing the... Okay. If we're snorkeling, we apply a little bit of this washer to avoid the fog. Because, you know, these are not like very professional goggles, so you need to put something anti-foggy. And I'm very excited to it. It's been a few, two or three days without snorkeling. Last time we saw a lot of yeah. turtles. Let's see what we can see today. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see how clean the water is right now. There are some divers taking lessons here. Anyway, let's go morning side.